Mark Leishman holds his own destiny in his hands, while Jason Day will need to rely on the performance of others as the PGA Tour season comes to a close this week at the Tour Championship in Atlanta. Leishman is riding high after winning last week's BMW Championship and having risen to fourth in the year-long FedEx Cup race is now among the five golfers most likely to take out the $10 million bonus. A points reset ahead of this week's event means, if any of the top five ranked players, Jordan Spieth, Justin Thomas, Dustin Johnson, Leishman, and John Rahm, win at East Lake Country Club, they will win the FedEx Cup. Leishman, playing the best golf of his career in 2017, knows what he needs to do to be the first Australian to claim the title, and on current form will like his chances. He has played the East Lake course just once in his rookie season, qualifying for the Tour Championship just one of the reasons he was voted Rookie of the Year. He finished T28 in the 30-man field that week on the back of two poor rounds, but is clearly a vastly different golfer this year. Both his 2017 victories have been at prestigious events under enormous pressure, a fact that will only help this week with the biggest prize purse in golf at stake. The PGA Tour's own fantasy golf expert, Rod Bolton, has listed Leishman fifth in his weekly power rankings column behind Ricky Fowler, Dustin Johnson, Justin Rose and Jordan Spieth and Leishman can comfortably hold his own in that company. A win would guarantee Leishman the overall prize, but should someone outside the top five capture this week's tournament he could still win the FedEx Cup depending where others finish. For Day the equation is, in some ways, more straightforward. The only way the former world number one can claim the FedEx Cup is to win the Tour Championship. Victory won't guarantee the title, as it would for Leishman, but anything less, and he has no chance of taking the FedEx Cup. While Leishman is generally known for flying under the radar at his day who has uncharacteristically attracted little fanfare as he has put together an extraordinary finals run. Day began the four tournaments in 49th position, but has climbed all the way to 15th thanks to two top tens in the three events to date. In six previous appearances at East Lake Day, has finished top ten three times, and his worst result is T17. In 21 rounds he withdrew after the first round last year he has shot in the 60s 14 times with a worst of 74 so clearly has a liking for the course. Added motivation for the Queenslander will come from the frustration of not having won since the 2016 players, and while few will have him as favorite it would be no surprise to see Day take the title Sunday.